All you content creators out there trying to tell me that we are going to see the Veiloon this week. Well, Jamie, not nice gaming. You're looking at the wrong clues. Hold on. Just think about it. Steven said he's going to change the live stream to 45 minutes of him eating carrots with a hummus. And you're all stuck on this carrot and hummus thing, and you're not thinking about the 45. Four plus five equals nine. If you take a nine and you flip it over, you got a six. You got 69 right there. It's nice. And then you have carrots. 69 carrots, midnight magic. Can't believe you guys have just been dropping the ball this entire time, letting everybody down. When it's all, it's right there, you know? Oops. We are just about two months out from quarter three, the time frame given for Ashes of Creation's Alpha 2 to launch. And with that, I imagine we will start to see reveals, information, and gameplay speed up in the next few months as Intrepid gets ready to announce that date, as long as we don't get a delay. These next few streams should be huge, hopefully showing us some highly anticipated wars, node leveling, animal husbandry, along with the bard and rogue archetypes that are said to be coming with Alpha 2's launch. Or we could just be seeing the nighttime lighting and wand weapon combos, which was revealed to be the topic for the next stream on Tuesday, April 30th. But something doesn't really seem to be adding up here. What happened to the wars? Our Torrent God Spike that was teased. How did we go from massive battles to nighttime wand casting? And why are we seeing lighting in a single weapon showcase that we've seen many times before this close to Alpha 2? Well, I'd assume whatever test the PI did this last month, if they involved wars, probably found some massive bugs or something that made Intrepid decide, maybe we shouldn't show wars just yet, let's get a little more polished before we do, and focus on other things. And those other things could be boring to most people at first sight, but there seems to be more than meets the eye with this stream. First though, with the lighting, honestly, it's a massive detail for Intrepid to show us. They have been talking about lighting upgrades in the past, they know it's been a concern for players, and they know it's something that they really have wanted to improve on. Lighting is something that can drastically change the look and feel of the game, and nighttime is probably a great time to show this too, because you're going to get to play more with the shadows, with the light produced from objects such as lanterns, torches, spell effects, and the moon, with it reflecting on the surfaces with the dark surrounding the rest, and really giving us a feel for what Intrepid intends for nighttime and ashes of creation to feel like. Hopefully we get to see a little bit of day too, but the focus here seems to be nighttime. But it would be really cool if Intrepid could do this in like a new biome or something for us to see. Oh wait, they are, at least we think. Steven being Steven decided to troll us the other night and stated that he was changing the stream to himself eating a carrot with hummus for 45 minutes. As the new lighting shines off the skin of the carrot, and the moist hummus twinkles in the starlight, I will wield my carrot like a wand and venture deep within the sand squall desert to find the source of the hummus. So unless Steven is being a massive troll, which at this point would just be mean, then it sounds like we are finally moving out of the Riverlands and into the Sand Squall Desert, which we saw almost two years ago. With the desert comes the potential to reveal the in-game Veiloon models, which I imagine are close if not ready to being playable, as Intrepid said they were updating the character creator a few months back, and with that I imagine they would also be getting the Alpha 2 races ready to go. We've also seen 3D model renders of these guys as well, so them being in the game would not be a big surprise for me through this stream. Beyond the Veiloon, this is a whole new area we have only seen a tease on, which means new architecture, new mob types, new story arcs, and a whole bunch more content that we haven't seen before, so if you're going to be looking for the details like me, then it's going to be a jammed pack showcase. When it comes to the wand combo thing, well, I'm a bit lost there. My first thought is that they're tying wands into lighting to show how spell effects can interact with the environment, but even then, a single weapon type and its combo effects seems like an odd choice for a primary topic of showcase, so I imagine it probably has more to do with than just wand combos and they're not really fully letting on. Perhaps they're showcasing us what changes they've made to the mage archetype in the last year, 
or maybe the copium in me says that it is a front for potentially showing us how class augments work with the 64 class system, and in this example, the effects those augments would have when it comes to wand casting. Or it really could just be wand combos, but still, that seems a bit odd. On top of that though, as we are only two months out from quarter three now, I imagine we are getting close to that point that they spoke about when they reveal which month Alpha 2 is going to start in. And if this is a lackluster stream, maybe they're going to buff it up with some additional info, such as an Alpha 2 month, or maybe even a date, because personally, I don't know why you'd give just a month at this point. Give the whole date or don't give anything yet, because like, if you're skeptical on hitting the date, just put it towards the end of the month if you think you can hit that month. I don't really know. But for those of you filled with doom and hate for this stream, just remember, we all hated the idea of a commission stream a few months back, and it ended up being one of the best showcases Intrepid has given us this year, and one that really made the game feel like it was coming to life as all of the MMO pieces finally came together. So perhaps there is more to be revealed beyond lighting and weapon combos this stream. Fortunately though, we have less than one day to find out.